Talk here today for Monday, April 9th goes to my brother, the good brother, Killer Mike. No. Now, let me give y'all the backstory <laughs> on my relationship with Killer Mike. I have known Killer Mike since 2003, since I've been doing radio at Hot 103.9 in Columbia, South Carolina. Dropped one of the clues bombs for the 803. That's when I first met Killer Kill. Uh, not only is he one of my top seven favorite rappers of all time, that man is my friend. And one of the first conversations we ever had was about D4L because Laffy Taffy had just came out and I was commenting on that record being whack. And he said to me, okay now. Them boys from D4L will whip your ass. Okay. All right? Don't let Laffy Taffy fool you. Okay? And Killer Mike and I have been friends ever since. Now, I know y'all was trying to cancel my guy, Killer Mike, a couple weeks ago because he sat down with the NRA and had a conversation about black gun ownership. And the NRA spun my brother's words and used it to make it seem like Killer Mike was against the March for Lies movement. And y'all went in on Killer Mike. All mm -hmm. right? And Killer Mike knew he got got. All right, he owned it, but I personally didn't think that was donkey worthy. But the universe must have wanted my brother to get this donkey because yesterday on social media, Killer Mike truly earned one. Now, one of the people who called out Killer Mike when he sat down with the NRA was Miss Joy Ann Reed from the MSNBC show uh, AM Joy. Drop one of the clues bombs for Joy Ann Reed. Yes. Now, Joy Ann was on IG yesterday and she posted a pic of her glam squad with the caption, and not to be outdone, at GLA Lux and Cynthia who rocked. The H and M for our Elgin Baylor shoot. Hashtag AM Joy. Hashtag Glam Squad. Now, Correct. Killer Mike, <laughs> who was still clearly a little salty about Joy Ann coming at him, he's still thinking about Joy Ann coming at him over the NRA thing. He left this strong and wrong comment <laughs> on Joy Ann's page. He said, So me doing an interview about black gun ownership with the NRA is bad, but you promoting a company that tagged a black child a monkey. All right, that's good, that's cool, that's acceptable. Okay, check, shaking my head. Now, the company that Killer Mike is referring to is H&M. We all remember the coolest monkey in the jungle Correct. shirt and all of that. Joy Ann responded, <clears throat> at Killer Mike, H&M stands for hair and makeup. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <All right. laughs> the two women beside me in this pic did my hair, H, and makeup in for a shoot. The blouse I'm wearing is by Norris Old Fell Ferrari, mm -hmm. and I doubt you can buy it at the retail chain you're thinking of. I got it from a designer via a stylist, and here I was thinking you were an intellectual and not just the guy who hangs out in the sunken place talking guns with the NRA's official black guy who literally changed his last name to black. Mm -mm -mm. I immediately hit Killer Mike and I said, first of all, I hit him, I sent him a bunch of laughing, crying faces. <laughs> and then he, then I talked to him and I said, bro, you just got to take the L on this one. <laughs> sure and this is why old niggas need to stay away from acronyms. Mm -hmm. I was just having this conversation last week. These kids confused mm -hmm. me with acronyms. Now, Joy Ann's not no kid. But acronyms ain't my thing. Right. I'm from I'm from the the eighties, nineties era. Okay. Right, right, Usually right. we say H M U for hair and makeup though. I don't know what we that means. I would think H M U was a college if you said it to me. It does sound like All right. University, I know yeah. S W V. I know them. I know T L C. Yep, I know B E T. Yeah. I know M T V. That's right. I know N B A. Okay. I know N F L. After that, you pretty much got me on all acronyms. Okay. L O L. I'm, I, I, I know, I, that, I, one, I know that one. I know that one. Okay. But uh, my man Killer Mike is on the phone because Killer Mike actually wants to give himself donkey of the day. Killer Kill. Oh, uh, man. I came in to humbly, man, you know, accept my donkey of the day and definitely mm -hmm. provide an example for what you do when you mess up. And that's you say you're sorry. So I apologize to Joy. And yesterday, and I'm apologizing again today. And to people who love me and believe in me, my bad. You know? What made you jump the gun yeah, so fast, yeah, Killer? Yes, Killer is what my made brother. Me jump I, the gun so fast is I don't understand acronyms because I'm old like Charlemagne. I tried but, to tell you. <laughs> yeah, but acronyms have gotten me in trouble, whether it's NRA or HM. But to be very <laughs> dishonest with you, black people, I'm just like, I'm going to hold a standard. And if the standard is we not rocking with certain people, I'm never rocking with them again. I'm never eating at Houston's again. Never shopping at H&M. Not doing no NRA format and stuff because it pisses my people off. But really, I think the grander lesson for me and everyone is when you mess up, you just say sorry. I've done that. But beyond that, I'm still out here in the community going forward. And I'm still telling people that the video you put up on your page of the husband and wife training the firearms. Yes. Black people get out there. Get the training every weekend. Get out the house. Stop watching TV. Get out there, learn how to fish, farm, garden, learn how to shoot, train, just do for self. All of my stuff comes from a positive and loving place. If I mess up, I say on my bad, but I'll be at the firing range when I get home in a couple hours. 
I see y'all out there, man, training. We got to take care of ourselves. That's right, my brother. And I think that's an important lesson for everybody because sometimes we're so stubborn and we don't want to just admit we're wrong and say sorry, but we all mess up sometimes. And the nah, best thing to do... You got to, mm-hmm. I'm telling you, I don't have, you know, my thing is, I'm a rapper. I don't ask you for money after I do things for the community in terms of a positive way. So I don't have no best interest in trying to lead or take anything. So I simply say, whatever I do, I do for my heart, whether it's sending kids to New Orleans or bad trips or getting people to vote for a man named Keisha. But with that said, I'm so passionate about y'all. If I make a mistake, I don't have a problem saying I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry to her. I'll say I'm sorry to y'all. But I'm going to be back out there helping my people today and tomorrow. That's never going to change. I was doing that before I was ever famous. I'll be doing that long after I'm an old man. Hey, and Killer Kill, the moral of the story is, man, stay away from acronyms this year. No NRA, hey, no wait. H&M. <laughs> don't, go to, don't even go to no NBA games, my nigga. Like, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, man, speaking of love and respect, man, y'all, when y'all come to Tillis Arena next year with the Hawks, man, y'all make sure y'all come and stop by the swag shop. We'll be in there. You'll be able to get a cut, talk sports, and tell me what you think. My man, Killer Mike, got another black-owned business in Phillips Arena. There That's you go. That's huge. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I love y'all. I respect y'all. Charlamagne, you're a true friend for Paul to be like, hey, buddy, you <laughs> messed up this time. We going to go ahead and get talk together. Shout out. My I love brother. You guys, man. Stay well. I'll see y'all in the community doing the right thing. Some donkey of the days just OMG. sell themselves, man. Uh, please give my brother, <laughs> Killer Mike, the sweet sounds and the Hamiltons. Oh, now you are the donkey of the day.